let's show you how to use a microscope. Let's go over some of the important names of the parts of a microscope. First, you have your eyepiece or your ocular lens. You also have lenses down here called your objective lenses. Where you place the microscope slide is called the stage. You also have a light source down here at the bottom. And typically you have two different adjustment knobs. Sometimes they're up here, sometimes and more often they're down here. When carrying a microscope, you hold one hand on the arm with one hand under the base. You also should have the cord wrapped around the base so you don't fall and trip on it. Now, like I said before, you have two different types of lenses. You have your ocular lens and your objective lenses. Typically, the ocular lens will have a magnification of 10. And typically, there will be three objective lenses, the 4, 10, and 40. Some microscopes will have a fourth lens, which is the oil immersion lens, and that's usually at 100 magnification. Here's another way of looking at those objective lenses. You can see the 4, which is usually red, the 10, which is usually yellow, and the 40, which is usually blue. This is an image of what our microscopes look at at my school. You can see the 4, the 10, and the 40. Now, something you're going to notice as the objective lens gets larger, the field of view, or how much you can see, gets smaller. The working distance, or the distance between the slide and the objective lens, is also going to get smaller as you move up the objective lenses. However, as you move up the objective lenses, you're going to see more detail in what you're looking at. When we talk about magnification, we're talking about the power of the microscope to enlarge the image of an object. And like I said before, as you can see, as we move up the objective lenses or we move up magnification, we see less of the image, but in more detail. This is why we can see the full letter E under the 40, but only part of the E under the 400x magnification. How we determine the total magnification of a microscope is by multiplying the ocular and objective lenses. You can see again, all of our ocular lenses are 10 since the ocular lens won't change, but we have three different types of objective lenses. We have the four, we have the 10, and we have the 40. So 10 times four is 40, 10 times 10 is 100, and 10 times 40 is 400. So the total magnification of the microscope for the three objective lenses alongside the ocular lens, again, are 40, 100, and 400. How do we actually use these microscopes? First, you're gonna unwind the cord and plug it in. And don't forget to turn the power on. Usually students will forget this and ask, why isn't my microscope working? So just make sure the switch is turned on. Next, you're going to flip the objective lens to the lowest power. That's usually in red. It's really important to always start at the lowest power. Next, you're gonna place the slide or whatever you're looking at on the stage. You also wanna place these stage clips on top of the slide to keep it in place. At this point, you're gonna use one of the adjustment knobs, specifically the larger one, the coarse adjustment knob. That's going to move the stage up and down more quickly. Now, it's really important to remember that you only use the coarse adjustment knob on the lowest objective lens. If you use the coarse adjustment knob on the medium or high magnification lenses, you might damage the lenses since how fast it moves the stage up and down. Now, something to remember is some microscopes might have the coarse and fine adjustment knobs as one total knob. The coarse adjustment knob in this case will just be the larger of the two. Now, when focusing your microscope, I always remind my students to move the stage to the highest position. This helps with magnifying or focusing the image on your microscope. It will just give us a good starting point to focus in on what we're looking at. Now, whenever you first look in the microscope, it might look something like this, where it's kind of blurry or fuzzy. What you have to do is you have to move the course adjustment knob back and forth in order for it to look like this. You can see the letter E there looking very crisp, looking focused, looking sharp. This is what a focused microscope slide looks like. Now, something that you might notice about your microscope slides are that they are upside down and backwards in the actual microscope. This is because of the mirrors that are being used to magnify the image. So again, you can see this is what it looks like in real life. You can read the E, but in the microscope, it is upside down and backwards. You're also going to notice when you physically move the microscope slide on the stage, it's going to move in the opposite direction inside the microscope. You can see here, if we move it to the right, inside the microscope, it moves to the left. If you move it up, it's going to come towards you. This is because the mirrors in the microscope flip everything around. After you have it focus on the lowest objective, you're going to switch to the next higher power, the medium power usually, and refocus it. It's important to remember when you're flipping to the next highest objective lens, you only use the nose piece here. It's on the top of the objective lenses. You don't actually touch the objective lenses. You don't want to damage them. At this point, you're going to use the fine adjustment knob to magnify or to focus your specimen. That is again, typically the smaller of the two adjustment knobs. After refocusing it on the medium objective lens, you're gonna move up to the highest objective lens and refocus it once again. When you're done using the microscopes, you have to make sure to put it away properly. First, you turn the objective lens to the lowest power. Next, you turn off your light source. 
you wrap the cord around the base and put the plastic covering on it and make sure you place it in the correct location. And that's how you use a microscope.